course, the subsoiling legs, the discs, and the roller packer. Hi everyone, it's Jack here at Main Skill. So first of all, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching the videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tell everyone about it, ring the little bell, you know the full works. So what we're on with is as you can see, I'm in a field. So here we are. And what we're doing is uh, we're getting the field ready for the maze. So I showed you the other day that we were muck spreading. So we were getting all the muck onto the fields. So we're in the field now. So as I said, these fields, they had beans in so the one over there had beans in anyway so these fields have already been worked so what that meant is that they already got ploughed in the back end so rather than messing on re-ploughing the whole field so uh, when we've already been ploughed the soil's still fairly loose what we are doing is we are going through with the sumo so we've got a sumo here so we just hired it off adam metcalf up the road awsm so uh, he's a contractor up the road and uh, we're using his sumo and what we're doing is we're just ripping the ground back up because we always go through with the sumo anyway before we do the maze because we like the subsoiling legs on it to go through and break up the pan underneath ready for maize because maize likes to get its roots down deep so uh, we were going to go through with it anyway so rather than plowing we thought we'd go straight through with this and we'd see how we do so as you can see there's quite a bit of volunteers and different bits in here but the soil is actually breaking down really well it's doing a good job it's nice and moist still moisture there so you don't want it drying out too much especially this time of year when it's drier now so uh, if it's dry like this last thing you want is to lose that moisture and then not have it for when the maize goes in so it's coming down now so i'll flick you around quick and show you this first So there he goes so what the sumo is is the sumo has so it has some big subsoiling legs on the front like i said then it has a set of discs and then it has a roller packer on the back so what that does is the subsoiling legs break the soil up real deep break up the pan so the pan is where the soil is compacted at the bottom of where your plowing normally goes the subsoiling legs break through that so that does that which is a good job then the discs go over after that the discs break all the soil down so there's lots of them running pretty much like knives going straight and they go and they break all the soil up and then on the back it has the roller packer so that's like a press that so what that does is it presses it into these you see like kind of like furs and it puts it into that and what that does is it locks the moisture into there so it keeps the moisture in there rather than there being a lot of soil surface at the top that uh, like up and down like furrows where it can soon dry out it locks in the moisture which is ideal because like i said you want to keep that for the maize so he's going through with this and then once we get all this bossed uh, there's 50 acre to do he's nearly finished now to be honest he's got it bossed so once he's done this we are going to get the power harrow going so we're going to drop our power harrow off the bottom of the drill and what that does is that has tines that stick down spinning around real real fast and they just obliterate the soil so they'll smash it to bits so when you're growing maize you want a real fine seed bed maize likes it to be real fine so uh, what we're doing is so for the maize so we've broke it down here now we've been through with the subsoiler we like to go through with that for the maize uh, we're going to get some fertilizer on here so we're going to put some nitrogen on here on the seed bed ready for it we're also going to put some potash on so uh, they like potash uh, maize for the roots so we're going to get a bit of that on as well we have some in the building so we're going to put that some of that on the seed bed as well it will get a lot of potash from the muck as well because we've put a lot of muck on here so it'll have to look after it as well uh, but yeah it's going well you can see there's another tractor going in the background that's matthew so matthew just because he's come through anyway i said chuck topper on a minute top around the outside of the field so he's doing this one and the other one and he's going around the outside and that's just to knock any bits of grass that are back in the hedge back just to make sure that grass doesn't start encroaching on the crop so uh he's just going to tidy them up knock them back so he's doing that i've come up with the load all so there we go so when we've been muck spreading there was some stuff that was a bit more like straw so i'll show you there you see that there we go 
So there's a couple of piles of straw here, which have getting come up when uh, they've come out of the muck spreader. And because it's been straw rather than muck, it's just thrown it out and not smashed it to bits. So I've just come up with the load all and just had a move around with them, shook them to bits, so that when he goes up with the sumo, it doesn't bung it up. So we're getting there now. He's getting it bossed. He's coming back up now. So I'll get a video of him coming up again. And uh, I hope you've liked a bit of a look at what we're doing. So this is what we do for preparation for the maze. Normally we would plough it before we went through with the sumo to smash it to bits, but uh, it won't matter, it'll do the job, it's breaking down well anyway, so it's not bad soil on here at all, it's fairly light soil, so it doesn't take too much smashing to bits. So uh, we'll take a video of him coming up now and hope you've enjoyed. Good, good. So here he comes, so he's just coming up to a bit of that straw, so we'll see whether it's done it or not. I don't think it's going to boss it to be honest. Fair lump here. I've shook it about, but it just doesn't seem to be breaking up so good. Oh, he's not doing too bad so far. No, there we go. Yeah, I thought it might stop him. So he's just lifting up. We've got it fairly bossed, what bits of straw are about. The para will fairly destroy it, to be honest. When he gets going with para it'll smash it all to bits and it should do the job. <laughs> you didn't let it drop out here, and I could see it under the tractor. Here we go, should be away now, I can see it's clear underneath. He's away, so he's on the fast track, 4220, we like the fast track. So if any of you have seen, there's a new cab out on these, they look smart. There you go, so the subsoiling legs, the discs, and the roller packer. Doing a good job. So yeah, like I said, I don't know if you've seen, the Fast Tracks have got a new cab out, they look smart. Matthew's been eyeing one up, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see if we can get one on demo and see how they do, because they look smart anyway. So uh, I'd say that's the only thing that lets the Fast Track down, really. So uh, it's my chapter generally, the Fast Track, and I like that. Uh, it's unbeatable on the road, field work, uh, for trailer in and that. But that's the only thing that I think lets it down, the computers on the fast track. They're just not as up to date as the John Deere's, but never mind, we'll see. So these new ones are meant to have improved all that. They look the parts, so we'll see what they're like. Good, good. Right, I'm going to go and crack on feed some cattle.